most recognizable logo in probably the whole entire world, the Golden Arches. What's that? Not exactly. More like McDonald's. Oh. This right here is the Big Mac. Let's cue some beauty shots of this not so beautiful thing, shall we? Yo, it looks like a hockey puck. And the cheese isn't even melted. It's black. Today we are gonna make the Big Mac, but better, at home. Let's grab some ingredients, shall we? Here are the ingredients that go into making a Big Mac. First thing you need to do is get some ground beef. This is all about your preference on what kind of ground beef you wanna get. The cheaper, the more like McDonald's. No offense or anything. I'm just saying, we're gonna make it better right now. So we got some sirloin ground beef. And this was on sale, $3.99 for the whole thing. $3.99. We love a good sale. If you know anything about McDonald's, you know they're kind of like flatter. So we want to make a flat patty. What am I doing right now, Jake? You're beating your meat. Yes, sir! Pick up some merch, BrandonTaylor.com. It's all on sale. I know you want to get it. You can beat your meat too. Bam! Will you beat mine? You always make things weird, you know that? All right, so now that you got one of your patties, you're gonna need another. Big Mac has multiple layers, so. Grab your meat and slab it down. Ooh, I love that sound. We're gonna put some salt. We're gonna put some pepper. These are McDonald's recipes. I normally wouldn't put just salt and pepper on a burger, but hey, I'm following the McDonald's recipes just to see how easy is it, can you do it at home, and is it gonna be better than it is at McDonald's? You know what is better than McDonald's? My merch. You guys can pick it up right now on sale if you just go to brennantaylor.com. Everything is on sale. We are out with the old and with the new. This Labor Day, rep some merch. So we're gonna let this cook up and while it's cooking up, let's start dicing our other ingredients. So to make this perfect, let's look at this old Big Mac, okay? Let's see how their lettuce is laid out. So, this is kinda, uh. It's kind of just big shredded pieces of lettuce, so let's mimic that. This is iceberg lettuce, not avalanche lettuce. I messed up last time, please forgive me. We're gonna wanna wash it because you never know what kind of creepy crawlies might be crawling out of this. Now we need to dice this onion, and if you see any tears, just know real men show their emotions, and I'm crying for a reason. Why is my voice cracking? I don't know, I never made it through puberty. That's why I don't look as manly as these other TikTok boys. Chop your onion, be careful, don't lose a finger because nobody wants to do that. Rip off this first layer because you know what, sometimes you gotta get down to layers before you really meet someone. And I'm trying to meet this onion. Seriously, be careful with this because you could lose a finger. Seriously, it's not fun. Oh man, I actually don't even really know how to die, so please cut me some slack. That was pretty fast to me, hey. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, sneezing on the ingredients, man! Oh, I was trying to cover it. Come on! I'm working it! These look good. These look way juicier than any other McDonald's burger I have ever seen. They look just about done. I do see a little bit of bloodiness, and you will never get a medium rare McDonald's burger. If you do, call corporate because that ain't right. <laughs> but wait, the cheese! I almost forgot our processed packaged cheese! Let's make sure it's melted. Let's melt it on there. I think we gotta make a disclaimer when we're saying making McDonald's from scratch. We're not actually making the cheese. We yeah, we're not making the cheese. We didn't We didn't kill the cow. We, we didn't do none of that. We didn't put the little sesame seeds on the buns, but you know what? We bought the supplies and we're putting it together. And as you know, I'm lactose intolerant. I hope this doesn't go right through me, but I hope it tastes good. Now let's put this thing together. Don't forget to toast your buns. Now comes the fun part. Let's put this thing together. First thing you're gonna need is their special sauce. Yes, we could have made it, it's mayo and ketchup, but hey. It was actually cheaper to buy the sauce than buying both the ingredients yes. separately. Yes, and I, I don't like wasting stuff. This I could actually eat again. Uh, mayo on its own, I will never touch again. So, I'm doing the world a favor. Throw the lettuce down. We're gonna grab some onions, put some onions down. And now we're gonna grab our meat. And the thing that's different about this is the meat goes upside down. So Which is really weird. Flip the meat upside down, bada bing. Now you need to grab your middle bun. If we made this bread by scratch, I would say just cut out a piece, but we didn't. So I'm just gonna grab the bottom piece of another bun. Now one of these buns is gonna be a little lonely, but hey, it's okay. Do you right. think McDonald's custom makes the middle bun or do you think they're missing? Let's see. Oh, no, no, they definitely custom make it, because look, oh, that wow. side is the same as this side. That's Wow, that's wow. interesting. I never really thought of that until now. We add some more sauce. 
don't know if you guys are pickle lovers out there, but me, I love me some pickles. I still think we should make our own pickles for a video. Maybe. You guys, if you want to see us make some pickles, smash that like button. Maybe alcohol. Alcohol pickles. Maybe we'll teach you guys a thing or two. Smash the like button. Let's say 50,000 likes and we'll do it. We're going to throw a little bit more lettuce on the top, some more onions on the top, and we're going to throw that upside down as well. Oh, God. We almost lost the whole thing. It's probably how they do it there too. They just like don't care. Then we smash that down. I mean, y'all can judge for yourself, but look how enormous ours is compared to theirs. Let's break these things down. The bun, almost identical. The meat, ours is about double the size of meat. The one thing I will give to McDonald's is their center piece of bread that we recently found out is its own piece of bread. What do you even call the middle piece? It's not the under bun, it's not the upper bun, it's the middle bun. I never heard of it until now, but look man, ours looks better in all ways. It honestly reminds me of, you know, the family cookout to be honest, it looks good. Now we gotta do a taste test, okay? We gotta see what we're seriously working with here. Honestly, never had a Big Mac in my life. Why? Because we're cheap. We get a double cheeseburger I, for a dollar. Exactly. If you didn't know this life hack, you can literally order a McDouble and it's the same price. You just don't have that extra bun in the middle and you can ask for the secret sauce. It's literally the same thing, but cheaper. So, I've just never had a Big Mac. It seems really big, but here we go. Let's try it, okay? First Big Mac, let's do this. It's actually something I would probably order in the future. If I'm ever like late night and I wanna grab something quick, I would usually order a McDouble. I can see myself ordering a Big Mac now. I've never had it before, I kinda like it. Let's taste ours, shall we? We already know. Man, we know this the thing answer. looks like so homemade to me. And I was thinking, maybe it's not supposed to be upside down and the way they just made it today was upside down? I don't, I don't know. know, I've never had a Big Mac. Is this how it's done? Please let us know in the <laughs> comments. Here we go. I'm gonna taste the homemade Big Mac. Did we do it better? Let's find out. I don't think your mouth opens enough. Mm. Perfectly cooked. Oh my God. Man. I need to know, cause I might go in there for a bite. That was so juicy and so much added flavor that I didn't know was gonna come out of it. But having a Big Mac, like never having one before and then having our homemade one, you can just tell the juice that just came out of that meat, man. This was never frozen. This is so fresh. The crunch you get from the lettuce, it's not so soggy. The bread over here is a little soggy, but it has been sitting for a while. I'll give it that. I'm not gonna use those as points against it. But man, the homemade Big Mac is something else. You guys gotta try to make this at home. You want a Big Mac at home? Follow this recipe. But wait, Jake, I didn't even ask, what's your favorite thing for McDonald's? Breakfast, egg McMuffin with bacon. Ooh, so why don't we check back here tomorrow and make that from scratch? Serious? Let's do it. Let's go. Hi, can I get one um, egg McMuffin with bacon? You just want one, right? Uh, one for testing okay, and then I need one to eat. All right, can we make that four what? egg McMuffins at bacon? I'm hungry, what? man. The McDonald's Egg McMuffin with bacon, all right? This is one of the most classic ordered meals at McDonald's for the breakfast. And as you can see, this is just how it came out of the wrapper. So I'm showing you guys. Um, it doesn't look all that great, but you know what? I thought the egg was usually like all yellow. I don't know, there's cheese, there's egg, and there's bacon. We're gonna try to make this better because Jake and I honestly just ate two of them before this and they weren't that great. I feel like we can honestly make something better. The one thing that's gonna be an issue is making the actual mold for the egg, but we have a couple ideas, so let's try. Here are the ingredients you're gonna need for your egg McMuffin. So this is what I'm thinking. We fold a piece of foil, right? Fold it over so it's a little bit thick. We're gonna wrap it over a can so we can get the molds, because how else are we gonna make an egg with this shape? We're gonna pull up, and we're gonna cook the egg just like that on the stove. Will it work? Hopefully. Let's try it. All right, first things first, let's throw a couple pieces of bacon on here. I'm gonna put two, because I wanna eat one for myself after. Can't stop eating, I got an issue. Now for our invention, let's see if this is gonna work. Before we do it, let's pam it up, because we want this egg to be able to come out easily. We want it to slip and slide out of that. We want to slip and slide, baby. All right, we're gonna crack our egg into a cup, season up our egg, put some pepper in there, Put some salt in there. We're gonna mix it up. Oh, I feel like they don't mix it. 
Well, we're gonna mix it. Cause that's why they're egg yolks are just sitting in the middle. We want ours yeah. to be kind of spread out. So let's try this, here we go. The moment of truth. Oh, I think it could work. This could definitely work. Yeah, we won't be able to flip it either until the it solidifies. Oh, what if we covered it? Bacon check. Ooh, it's the oily turkey bacon for me. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, wow. That might actually just be fine as it is. So while your egg is hot, let's throw this piece of cheese on there. The cheese will start to melt. It'll blend nicely. And while that's happening, let that heat up. All right, our English muffin is ready. Let's throw this off the side. Our egg and cheese has definitely melted, so we're gonna slide that on there. And I think we need to add more bacon because they cheap you out. They on cheap that. you out on the bacon. I mean, they give you some decent pieces. We're gonna go a little extra mile, you know? We're bacon eaters in this house. Top it off. Bada bing, bada boom. Off the size difference, it, it's insane. Ours is way bigger. Ours is gonna be way healthier because, you know, this is really processed. We also have the whole wheat multi-grain English muffin. This is just the white bread. You also gotta think that maybe that's not even a full egg in the McDonald's one. Maybe yeah, it's like half an egg. Ours is pretty big. Yeah, like. I'm not even gonna lie to you right now. This one just smells like weird. It has like a little funk to it, their egg. Now it's time to taste this bad boy. I am real excited to eat this because I've actually never made a McMuffin and now that I have, here we go. If McMuffins tasted like this every time you went to McDonald's, I'd be 650 pounds doing a My 600 Pounds story on TLC because wow, this is so good. I don't think I'll ever order this from McDonald's again. This was so easy to do. I showed you guys how you can make the mold of the egg on your own. Wow, I am so impressed. Next time, I'm gonna throw a sausage in here and make a sausage egg McMuffin because we're onto something here. Oh my God. Oh, what is that smell? It was definitely a rough one in there, but it's clear to me that we can make McDonald's a lot better than McDonald's can make. You wanna see us cook one of your favorite fast food spots or restaurants? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, pick up some merch, brandtaylor.com. It's the hottest of the summer. Stay safe and remember to drink your water. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.